Now she's looking for a committed long-term relationship. Which involves having good sex. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I would add also though, being good in bed is also a really good way to keep a girl around. No, I just, I just want to have that kind of intellectual consistency. Oh, I didn't know that we were inviting clowns. What is wrong about starting off with a hookup and then if that person doesn't meet all your criteria and you already know you have a lot of sexual chemistry, what's wrong about springboarding and then going, moving from casual to something more serious? I find that quite often things do start off casual. Like you find out like, hey, I, I find this girl attractive and she's cool and you start having casual sex. And then you're like, wow, like we actually have a lot in common. We have a lot of the same values. Because you have a 24 seven fertility cycle. So, you know, for you, that's, that's how you want to start anything. Like, why is it when it comes to dating, choosing a partner, we should be kissing and having sex right away? Well, because intimacy is a key part of a relationship. Well, here's the thing. You want to go straight to sexuality, not intimacy. Intimacy is when we sit and cuddle and hold hands and, and, and snuggle up to each other. Is that intimacy too? Sure, it is. Of course. So why are we jumping straight to sexuality? This isn't about sex. Typical guy behavior implying that sex is more important than anything else in a relationship. What kind of water do these guys drink? I'm flabbergasted. Now she's looking for a committed long-term relationship. Which involves having good sex as a part of that, right? She wants to make sure the character and personality and consistency and responsibility is there because it's deeper than just the physical. Don't go up and say, what's your name? Go up and make her laugh. Sure. I would agree with that. I would add also, though, being good in bed is also a really good way to keep a girl around. I'm just thinking with my dick. Do you believe sexual tension can be artificially manufactured? With a kiss? Hell yeah. Absolutely. Okay, that's that's where you and I would definitely disagree. I don't think that sexual. I think sexual tension. Uh, there's you can you can increase it, but you either have that sexual kind of mm, or you don't. <laughs> that is not correct. And I'm here debunking that. I don't see how that debunks it though. There's people who come into the picture to take. There are people who come into the picture to contribute. I don't know who's who until I have a boundary. Why should we kiss to find out? Why don't we find out and kiss the right one? Oh, uh, well, I would have several reasons. We can observe that he does not truly understand how women function. This is about committing to somebody who's right for me because I'm not wasting time. So when I want to go play, I'm going to go play. But if I want to husband material, baby dad material, going to buy a house with material, there's characteristics about this person I need to know, right? Like devotion. Should, should I find that out before I kiss him? Maybe. Responsibility, work ethic. Is he a mama's boy? Like, is he still living with his mom as she's doing his laundry and cooking his food and he doesn't even clean his room? Should I know this before I start a relationship? Am I starting a relationship when I kiss? If I'm looking for a relationship, I am. And that's evident in my behaviors in the fact that the next guy who asked me out after I kiss somebody, I say, no, I'm seeing someone. So I'm just not going to commit to someone I don't know. And that commitment is going to start with a kiss. I don't think, a I don't think as a woman, if you kiss a guy on the first date, you are lowering your odds of finding a suitable partner. OMG, I had no idea you were a woman. I totally take back what I said earlier. The difference between he's wrong and I kissed him and had sex with him and he's wrong and I didn't is one is a conversation, goodbye. One is a breakup goodbye don't you waste just as much time I mean, you're 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 waiting three months before kissing you're still wasting time why i'm talking to people you're a stranger no kissing no sex no sleepovers no exclusivity but you kind of have an idealistic view oh no you didn't i'm introducing logic to the dating scene it's not idealistic idealistic is a hoping game kiss to see where it goes is idealistic i'm kissing a stranger and i'm creating a fantasy in my head that they're going to suit who i need in a relationship that's what idealistic is logic is not idealistic logic is i want to know who i pick what if there is no sexual chemistry like you waited three months uh and there's like this there's no like your sex is horrible oh shit here we go again. That's the beauty of the no kissing for three months dating role is it's not no affection. It's affection is shown when, it, when affection is felt, not sexuality is shown because it's the fourth date. Do you know women well enough to know that 
Slow dancing in a kitchen before even getting to a six is sexy as fuck. Why? Why should he, given the information he has, wait for, you know, wait with a chick when there's other great girls that he can get to know? The boy has no patience. Why would a guy who's like high caliber and quality, uh, you know, if he's given two options, both are great girls. One is a girl who's down to have sex, you know, pretty fast. And one is a girl who wants to wait like three or six months. Why would that high caliber guy go for, you know, option two instead of option one? Keep your dick in your pants, scumbag. Uh, go, go pick your options. I'm not an option. I'm the selection. I don't want somebody who's looking for somebody. I want the person who's looking for me. So if he wants to pick the girl who's going to give it over the girl who's saying, I want to get to know you first, go for it. We don't feel we've lost anything, um, right? Because what we lost with the person who said, I'm not interested in you. I'm interested in the available body at this time. I think guys, the vast majority of men don't have that luxury uh, because they don't have nearly as many options as a pretty girl would. Hold up. Wait a minute, something ain't right. I thought guys had so many options and that's why they would never wait for somebody who's using a no kissing for three months dating role. While I'm waiting for your fucking response, are you just not gonna say anything, dumbass? The no kissing for three months dating role is creating an, a period of observation in order to eliminate the hoping game and give us enough knowledge and insight about you so that we understand who you are before we choose you well, and whether or not we're gonna be friends. What about if you, like, have you never had it where you start off casual and then it leads to something? I never discount luck or intuition. So you guys got lucky. I think we all got lucky. I think relationship is largely luck, right? Because you met a oh. husband who liked you and he liked him. And this guy calls me idealistic. So luck or knowledge and insight, right? Like I actually picked my partner based on knowledge and insight. You can say that three month is the best strategy, right? But there's still going to be a big element of luck and intuition. I don't Never. think it's like you really reduce reliance on luck or intuition when you go to knowledge and insight. When you're looking for a committed long-term partner, I like the knowledge and insight angle. But it's reduced, right? Not eliminated because there's still a risk. There's always a risk of hurt. We can have the most amazing relationship in the world and then you die. There's the hurt. So there's always a risk of hurt in every single relationship. And you are right. This is an opportunity to reduce the risk of pain by making sure I have enough information on somebody before I choose them for a partner. Can you just have sex without committing here we go again I mean, that's called playtime i'm looking for a partner now i'm done my playtime i know a lot of girls who i've had on the podcast they can have sex without getting their feelings involved like when they're looking for a relationship again you're not a hookup you know here today gone tomorrow have fun with you goodbye right we're not talking about those so she kisses and has sex with you because she's looking for a long-term partner she's looking for a relationship just from a kiss though or you're talking about being in a relationship are we understand that the kiss leads to her staying in something that's wrong for her for sometimes too long? So I would disagree with that premise. Honestly, what don't you disagree with at this point? I'm just going to have fun. I'm just going to have fun because yeah. it's, it's a different mindset. Your mindset has to match your intention. Your behaviors have to match your intention. My intention is to get into a committed long-term relationship. So I'm not going to kiss someone I don't know and start a relationship like it just doesn't make sense you have a very big distinction between uh, a woman just wants to have fun and a woman looking for a relationship you yeah. see those as two separate categories yeah. i guess my counterpoint is i think there's a lot more gray uh, than it is i think quite often you have a girl who's for example she's interested in a relationship but she's also having fun at the same time but let me tell you something where i'm from we don't oh, do I shit like that. that i say don't choose your committed long-term relationship the same way you choose a hookup what if a girl just wants casual sex? What's not clicking? What's not clicking? If you want to go hook up with people, go hook up. If you want to go explore, go explore. If you want to just have fun, just have fun. Haven't you heard me say it like a bazillion times? If you want to hook up, go hook up. There's nothing wrong with that. This honestly felt like teaching the alphabet to a child. How do you reconcile the idea that like, you know, relationship should be 50-50, but if a man has sexual needs, uh, I guess like in that situation, he's being denied those needs. So what's kind of like your take on that? Uh, so deny, deny, do you really like, like you were entitled to it? Why? Because you came into my environment and swung your dick around. Like I really, I don't, I don't think I'm denying a stranger or anything, right? You're a stranger. I'm not denying anything. I, I'm not, I'm not denying you. You, you have to, I, I'm looking for a long-term relationship. I'm not in a club looking for a hookup. 
If I was looking for a hookup, would you be upset that I denied you? I didn't pick you that night. Did you think I should have, right? You, right? Just because I went on a date with you, now I'm denying you. Just because we're getting to know each other now, I'm denying you. Uh, it's 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 not 50-50. I'm not committing to you. No kissing, no sex, no sleepovers, no commitment. I'm not committing to you. I'm not denying you anything. Why is it that you think my body belongs to you because you're in my presence? It's not that she is hurting the man. She's hurting herself by not engaging in something that would be good for her and that would be fun for her. That's, I think, where the question is coming from. No, she already had the sex she wanted that was good and fun. Now she's looking for a committed long-term relationship. The kind of the way you're describing it kind of makes me think that is that you feel sex is a value-loaded exchange. Do, do you agree with that? That's have you noticed that all of his questions are about sex and not about the emotional intimacy and qualities behind a healthy relationship? Has he even considered what a woman actually wants? What about when that same guy has a double standard about what you wear? Trigger warning, you will be shocked. If you had a client who was like, you know what, I'm with this girl, like I really like her. Um, but you know, like, I don't like how she dresses and, and like, let's just say to you say to him, is she dressing any differently than she used to? And he's like, well, no, not really. But you know, she posted a picture of herself, you know, on the beach and she posted a picture of herself on girls night out. And, you know, like people are seeing that and that's on display. And I don't, you know, I mean, the other night she went to go out and she's wearing a mini dress and I was like, are you going to go out in that? Right. So what do you say to him when he's showing these signs of insecurity over how she presents herself? This is her. This is who she is. She likes to dress this way. She's going into an insecurity phase saying, I don't want other people looking at her when she looks like that. What do you say to him? You can't just make like you can't can't just be about the guy being paranoid because there could be a legitimate. I got to stop you there because like you want to keep swinging it around. And I'm like, let's say you're dealing with a male. Right. Like I want to I want to stop focusing on her because this is this is just she was wearing that before. She's wearing it now. But now he's got a problem with it. He liked it when she wore that to go out with him to the club. He doesn't like it when she goes out with the girls to the club wearing the same thing. Right. He liked it when she was on the beach on, in a bikini with him. He doesn't like it when she posts a picture of herself in a bikini on the beach. So let's not she's not looking for attention. This is her. This is who he got with. She hasn't changed. But now he's saying, I don't like this. OK, so again, uh, I think we can't we can't look at things um, without. Comprehensively. But again, I would not I would not just put it on the guy i would first go down oh my god i literally can't with this guy once again typical guy behavior failure to encourage taking responsibility and instead putting blame on the girl for simply being herself he is teaching his clients the wrong things i see you're smiling so you're like oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. i'm painting one particular scenario for you and right. you keep wanting to put the blame on the girl for being who she is and how she is and not changing. Now watch him go for my husband. He gave me devotion before I ever asked him for devotion. He he could have afforded to take more than one girl for a dance. And there was times where he came in and I was dancing for someone else and he waited for me. And other girls came up and said, do you want to go for a dance? And he said, no, I'm waiting for this girl. I would say that's not devotion. That's neediness, though. If he's because he doesn't know you, he doesn't really know who you are. All he knows is what you look like, you know, naked or half naked. Oh, so Wednesday nights for, uh, let's say, two and a half hours, uh, uh, Wednesday nights for two and a half years we don't know each other? I would say the problem is a lot more on his end. The fact that he's investing so much energy and so much of his time, which is also valuable, into a woman who's married, right, who won't go on a date with him. That to me is like very needy and problematic on his part. It's not so much problematic on your part. Okay. Okay. Um... That's all fair, but I, th I think that's a fair goal. Uh, but right, but I mean, right, but would, I'm understanding your logic. But so then, sure, but how? I mean, sure, but again, but don't sure, but why? I think that's all fair, of course. But but sure, but I right, but so I'm just fed the fuck up. I can't take another minute of this bullshit.